chocolate butterscotch pie. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pan heated up and I'm gonna throw some butter down, two tablespoons. You know, when you get the butterscotch at the store, just look at the label. So many different colors and flavors and additives and preservatives are going on in there. Really, do you want that when you know if you make it at home, it's just a matter of getting in some heavy cream, some caro, some brown sugar, and that's it. It's gonna be buttery and yummy and flavorful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some brown sugar in here with my butter. See, almost using the rest of my brown sugar here. Get some corn syrup in as well. I'm gonna get this all melted together with a nice little pinch of salt. What I wanna do now is kind of make this dark amber color that we're looking for a little bit light and golden with our heavy cream. Make sure you just whisk it in. About a quarter of a cup is all you need to get something going and look at that. It's gonna be so good on our chocolate butter scotch pie. And like I said, I know you can get it at the grocery store, but when you see how easy it is to make it at home, come on, why not? So that's it. That's done. Just gonna let that cool down and get ready for the pie. What I wanna do now is start working on the pie, and I gotta get uh, my mascarpone cheese out of the fridge, a ready-made chocolate crust, some vanilla, some chocolate chips that are gonna be great in this as well. This is a pie that I love to make, and. I gotta say, kind of like a pint of ice cream, I could finish this whole thing by myself. It's very scary to see. <laughs> I often do it alone, but this is great for having with friends as well too, especially if at your tailgating party, there's some kids coming by to hang out. All right, so the entire eight ounces of my mascarpone right there. Now I wanna get a cup and a half of the heavy cream in and start working them together and get them nice and creamed up cup and a half. Now, a lot of times, you'll see mascarpone cheese in, say, a tiramisu recipe. It's really not cheese, just so you know. It's more of a very thick and heavy cream that they process kind of like a cheese. That's why they call it mascarpone cheese. But man, when you get this into a pie like this, it's going to be very velvety, creamy. It's just a great addition to this pie. A little pinch of salt. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour in a little bit of vanilla extract as well. And that's all you need. All right, now I'm gonna get a little bit of sugar into the situation because, come on, it is a pie and we do have chocolate and butterscotch to go along with it, so I want the inside to be nice and sweet and fluffy. So a half cup of sugar right in here, and that's it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and combine this and then bring up the speed on this and make sure that it gets to nice, soft peaks. And you'll know it's soft peaks because when you bring your paddle out of it or a spoon or anything, it just kind of falls over lightly and gently and not hard peaks, which is kind of stiff and straight up. This is what you're going for here, right at the end, nice and velvety. Any further than this, it's gonna start to granulate and get choppy looking. So this is good to go and ready for the mini chocolate chips I'm gonna hit it with. And I do mini chocolate chips because the big ones, this is a refrigerator pie. It's cold when you bite into it, it's too big of a crunch to me. So I like to use the uh, tiny one. Get this off and get my chips in the bowl. This is gonna be so good and creamy and it's just perfect if you have kids hanging out too for the uh, tailgating party. It makes everyone feel like a little kid inside. Just get the uh, chocolate in there. Just give it a nice little fold, make it sure it's all mixed in so every single slice is exactly the same and no one's fighting over the one with more pieces of chocolate. <laughs> and then get it right in to the pre-made cookie crust. Now you can make this at home, of course, if you have some chocolate cookies, just crumble them up in a processor along with some butter that's melted, a little pinch of sugar, a little pinch of salt, and you are good to go. Look at that. Now, of course, I've got my butterscotch here on the side. I took some time to make it home. I know you can buy it at the grocery store, but there's just so many extra ingredients in the one that you buy at the grocery store, the coloring, the flavoring. When you do it at home, it's just butter, corn syrup, brown sugar, a little pinch of salt. When it gets that brown, dark amber color, you hit it with some heavy cream and it's good to go. Why worry about preservatives and stuff? All right, so I'm gonna put this in the freezer because I'm hungry and I wanna eat this in about an hour. But if you have three hours, you can put it in the refrigerator and you're good to go as well. All right, here is our chocolate butterscotch pie. Really easy. I got the store cut or the store bought pie crust, chocolate crumbs, of course. And then what I'm doing now is just gonna go in with my knife, get it out, 
We have mascarpone cheese in here. Also some heavy cream, a little vanilla, a little sugar, and you are at the finish line. Get this on my plate here. Let me show you how I like to do dessert. Really, I'd take one piece out and eat the rest of the pie. <laughs> All right, baby, come on out. Look at how creamy that is. Take it to soft peaks when you're blending it, and that's gonna make it so yummy. Look at that. Our homemade butterscotch sauce right over the top. Let me dig into this. Smooth, velvety, chocolate, buttery. That's all I gotta say.